Hello and welcome to Love Dominates. My name is Tamara Gerstmeyer Sweeney and today I am going to give an example of a text from adult children. Uh, my children are above 18. This, this child is actually 21 years old. Uh, my child that wrote this to me. Um, but remember, as a targeted parent, you really know that these texts are from the alienator, uh, the father of the children. And they're pretty harsh, pretty demanding. Um, but I just want to give you, I want to read this to you actually, so you can relate or you can understand that, you know, this is not normal behavior from a child, that this is a learned behavior from a narcissistic parent. And I'm at the point where I'm laughing at this. I, I'm not saying this is right, but I'm trying to get to my children by being a normal parent and um, showing them how disrespectful they actually are almost to the point of cockiness. Um, but let me go ahead and read this. I get this text from my second son, who's 21 years old. Mom, I don't know why you think messaging random people on Facebook is going to make me want to have a relationship with you again. It makes me not want to have anything to do with you even more. Stop trying to spread your crazy made up story to people I barely even know. All you gotta do to be back in our lives is drop your delusional story and look at how our lives actually happened. You can't even face the truth that you were a terrible mom. None of us are asking for much from you and time and time again, you continue to make your situation worse. You keep getting crazier. Please get some real help because God knows you need it. So the last email I got, um, I'll have to refer this to you. I haven't put it online yet, but it was pretty obvious that it was from the alienator, the father of the children. But what he was request, what he was requesting of me um, was to put in writing that I was a bad mom. And until I do that, I won't have a friendship with my children. So how I answered my son's text was, here you go, my letter in writing. Yes, I was a bad mom because I believed in health and fed you only good things. I fed you things that fueled your body, organic foods. I taught you the importance of nutrition and physical fitness. This is what I went to college for and believed in. Sorry, I keep losing my spot. Um, so I was a bad mom for teaching you good health habits and role modeling to put good healthy items into your bodies, your machines. I was a bad mom because I encouraged sports. I was a bad mom because I encouraged reading and education. I was a bad mom because I taught my children to be honest no matter what. I was a bad mom because I taught my kids to find their passions in life. I was a bad mom because I taught compassion and empathy. I was a bad mom because I taught you organization and time management. I was a bad mom because I had discipline and rules. I was a bad mom because I taught you life lessons. And I'm a bad mom because I love you. So this is what I had sent to my son or my ex. And his response was, you clearly don't have empathy because of what you just said. I try to tell you how to get back into my life and you mock me. You have no one but to blame but yourself, but your own situation. It isn't for the public to decide who is in my life and who isn't. You care more about what random people think than your kids think about you. It's effed up. I left that blank. I might as well be talking to a effing wall. You literally just mocked me and you haven't even come close to doing what I'm asking of you. And then I had replied by sending some um, picture messages of, you know, love, empathy, 
um, narcissism, how the narcissism controls you. And he writes back, uh, and it was the last thing, this picture is 100% you. So my point in doing this is it's been six years now and I am not worthy of my children's love. I am not worthy of anything. Um, and I know how ridiculous that sounds, but that is the type of child that I'm dealing with because the father of my children is also a child and taught my children these behaviors. It all started when they were little, the brainwashing and how he allowed my children to demean me, undermine me, disrespect me. He took the power away from the parent and gave it to our children. So I have no relations with all four kids now. Um, my next video will be about uh, the signs of what a narcissist does, how he takes you through the court system, the games the court system plays, and all the illegal activities. And I do not, I do not know how to stop someone that is intentionally harming me every day. How do you get this person to stop when he has the law on his side? Thank you for listening. And as all, always, love dominates. Love dominates. Love will triumph hate. Thank you.